welcome to all dear listener kingdom of god is a very important topic so we would like to invite you to join our devotion this year the concept of the kingdom of god is repeated throughout the bible this devotion was written by dr peter kamleshwar prasad singh we would be honor if this message was a blessing for you Meditation on the Kingdom of God, Day 207 And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. Now when evening came, he was alone there. Matthew 14, 23 The multitudes must have been more than 10,000 in number. And Jesus was doing the post-event management himself. He had already asked the disciples to go to the other side by boat as soon as the meal was over. Then he sent the crowds away peacefully. He was there alone now and so went up on the mountain to pray. For Jesus to pray meant to spend personal time with the Father. During the time of fellowship, he got spiritually refreshed, strengthened, and renewed. Sitting with the Father, he got his vision clarified, and Jesus himself saturated with the Holy Spirit. Our personal fellowship with each other is so edifying, refreshing, and renewing as we gather together at the Lord's feet. How much more was the Father and Son's fellowship? For Jesus spending time with the Father was altogether different. Moses spent 40 days on the mountain with the Lord, and his body was shining with God's glory, so much so that Moses had to put a veil on his face to restrain the people from looking at him. Exodus 34, verse 33 to 35. In 2 Corinthians 3, verse 13, the time of prayer Jesus had with the Father was not an ordinary or casual time pass, but a time in the glorious presence of God Almighty. It was urgent for Jesus to fight the enemy, the flesh and the world, and win the battle in prayer first and then win among the crowd. He prayed and then stepped out as led by the Spirit. For him, prayer was not an escape goat, but a real battle, and he won every time. After his time with the Father, he was so much in power of the Holy Spirit that he did not care whether it was land or sea. After his time with the Father, he was powered so much by the Spirit that he did not care whether it was land or sea he was walking on, and he continued walking on the sea. The disciples had never seen such a walk before. On Peter's request, he commanded him to walk like Jesus. He tried, succeeded, and then failed. To be continued. Thank you for listening to this devotion. Let's meditate and apply it in your life according to your conviction. Please give any suggestion and comment on this. God bless you. Have a good day.